everyone. Happy Monday. Oh, my hair is a little messy. Your hair is beautiful. Uh, well, as compared to... We're just going to compliment each other for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. you guys minutes. don't mind. Um, on Friday, you guys got to hang out with me and my actual husband. And on Monday, you're going to hang out with me and my work wife. This is Erica. Hi, guys. My work wife. <laughs> of course, if you like our news blast, welcome. We're back. It's Monday. Share the video right now. I'm like, I forgot that I'm on and I'm like over here swaying. Sorry about that. <laughs> Probably making you. We're off to a very smooth start. <laughs> Can you hold this? <laughs> yes. Don't break it. Cheap. Those aren't cheap. Oopsies. Uh, back to the beginning. Okay, like our video, share it. The share button's right at the bottom. We haven't said anything important yet. I almost broke the microphone. Hopefully you can still hear us and your Facebook friends can watch with you. Shall you we? Your crazy eyes Shall are we? Extra I'm excited crazy to talk right about now. all this news. Let's kick it off with Kevin oh, man. Spacey. So the background of the story here is that Anthony Rapp, who is an actor, um, I've seen him on Broadway in Rent, he's incredibly right. talented. Um, he's an actor and he alleged, alleged that when he was 14 years old, Kevin Spacey made sexual advances to him. Spacey at the time of the alleged incident was 26. Obviously there's just a whole barrel of things that are wrong with this it was, story. It was and upsetting enough as it is. Like, yeah. Yes. Then Kevin Spacey, Q Kevin Spacey. <laughs> responded on uh, the Twitter, which I just feel like is probably not the best place. I mean, it gets worse. I, I would just get to the like worst Starting part. there, it's like not, you're already not doing well if you, someone's accusing you of pedophilia, right? Is that, I right? mean, that Lonnie? Lawyer? We're calling you. What, the Kevin Spacey allegations, are, is, is, was he accusing him of pedophilia? Yeah, not appropriate. Accusing him of pedophilia, maybe Twitter's not the place to respond. So tell me, Erica, how did he respond? Uh, not well. Um, Kevin Spacey chose this as his time to come out as gay, which it's it's worth noting just right now, coming out as gay, wonderful, very, very celebrated thing, very, very yeah. great when someone has their moment to come out as their authentic self. But was this But your when moment? you're doing it in defense of a pedophilia accusation, not going to be celebrated. No, not the it prime was opportunity. Really, yeah. He chose this really time weird. to come out as gay. Which he writes in this very long post, dash Kevin Spacey at the bottom. He said, quote, where's the quote? Oh, uh, first of all, he said he didn't remember the incident, but said, quote, but if I did behave then as he describes, I owe him the sincerest apology for what, have, would, what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior. Deeply inappropriate drunken behavior is shouting at someone um, pushing your friend. Push, yeah, that's a good one. Yelling, breaking something. Yelling at a at a bartender. That's These are all examples of <laughs> things that are offensive, drunken behavior. Trying to touch a Allegedly. teenager is not something I would consider. Then he says, "I have loved and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life, with men and women." He said, uh, "And I now choose to live as a gay man." Which is frustrating for a myriad of reasons. It's just it's just really, really rough to see someone taking this as their opportunity to yeah, do something that what should be doing? such a happy, celebrated moment. But also, it's like, not. not the point. It's not, not the point. The point of the story wasn't, oh, my gosh, is Kevin Spacey gay? No, the point of the story is, oh, my gosh, did Kevin Spacey yeah, no. allegedly come after a teenager? Not The shocking part isn't the fact that it was a man. Yeah, which is, which is it's, it's strange that he interpreted it that way that you just described. It's... And the no, backlash no, has been big. It's not been good. <laughs> backlash has been big. Wanda yeah. Sykes immediately responded, telling him he doesn't get to, quote, hide under the rainbow. And, I, wait, where is there, do we have the, what's his face's tweet? Which I really, really like. Billy Eichner's tweet. Yeah, Billy Eichner's tweet was so on point. I don't think we have it in this paper, but he essentially said, and I'm paraphrasing here, um, Kevin Spacey essentially um, did the impossible. He picked a bad time to come out. Like, not, nobody, nobody wants you right now, Kevin yeah. Spacey. Um, who knows what's going to happen with House of Cards. Right. The, um, I think it was either the EP or someone very high up um, with the show said the, the accusations are deeply troubling, so who knows if. But he, he also didn't know that any action would be taken, which, I mean, obviously when these things happen, people, yeah. their first reaction is usually <coughs> to call for action. Which yeah. So there's a lot of backlash, completely understandably yeah. so, and the whole thing was just really disturbing yeah so live okay. your life 
Kevin Spacey, but please don't live it allegedly over there. touch anyone and live it over there. Okay. <laughs>